I'm Hilary Mulick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas and this month I have been doing a four part series about my favorite features in HoneyBook and today I'm going to be talking about my fourth and most favorite feature of HoneyBook and that is smart files. Specifically, how to create a proposal smart file in HoneyBook. So HoneyBook, if you don't already know, is my client management system. It's how I communicate with clients, how I track leads. It's how I send proposals that include invoices and contracts, how I collect payments, how I send questionnaires. It's basically an all-encompassing platform for client management and it's awesome. If you're interested in a free trial of HoneyBook, I have a link down in the description and you can also get 20% off if you decide to sign up, which is really awesome. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about smart files, specifically how to create a proposal in HoneyBook. So smart files is a feature in HoneyBook where you can create different templates like questionnaires and proposals and create services brochures, just lots of different files. And they're called smart files because they have lots of different features to them, different automation options, which is really awesome. Anything that I can automate in my business and just make it really streamlined, really simple, I'm all about that. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a proposal within the smart files feature on HoneyBook. So here we're on my HoneyBook page. This is the project page. And if I go to tools and go to my templates, you can see these are a bunch of smart files that I have created in HoneyBook. So today we're going to create a new proposal. A proposal includes a contract invoice and a payment feature. So we're gonna create a proposal today. Here is the first page of the proposal. So I can name my proposal. So this is, let's do a test wedding proposal. So here is my information that just automatically gets put in. It's my information that is saved in HoneyBook. Here is the first page, which is the invoice. So I can go here and I can manually type in a service or I actually have packages that are saved in here that I can add. Let me just add one in here. Let's do, let's do an intimate elopement, sure. So here's a package. I can add tax to that, which I always do. I can add any other packages to this as well. Down here, I can change the tax. I can add a discount if I want. And then down here is the payment schedule. So I actually, for weddings, I have a three-part payment schedule. I have one payment due when they sign the contract, so this is today's date. I have one payment due at the midway point, so I'm actually gonna change this. Uh, the midway point. And then I have a third payment due. Let's do a smart date, one month before the project date. So that's how I break up my weddings. Next, we're gonna go to the second page, which is the contract page. So here's just a contract template that they have here. You can go here and delete all this and copy and paste your contract in here. You can add different smart fields features. So if I wanna insert that they have to put their first name and that they must fill this out. And then I can create another line, insert maybe their email and they have to fill that out. So it's really easy to customize this contract. I can fill out terms. Here are some signatures that are at the bottom. I can add more signatures if I need to. I can also delete all this and click this here and I can reuse a contract from another template that I have created. So I actually have some wedding photography proposals that I've created so I can just add in a proposal that I have already done. So that is in there. Next, I'm gonna go to the payment page. 
And here, I can select whether it'll collect a credit card, a bank transfer, or both, whether I'm requiring the for them to sign up for auto pay, which means it'll save all of their information that they input in here. They can also have the option of leaving a tip if I do that. I can change the colors for things as well. The last feature on here that I really like is it'll say, where do you wanna redirect the clients after they have submitted their payment? So after they've submitted it, I actually like to put in a page on my website here so I can have them redirected to a URL and I can have them go to a planning page or just maybe a certain page on my website. You can redirect them to your Instagram or a customized thank you page that you have created on your website. And I really love that feature as well. And then I can just update template. Now this template has been saved. So if I go to my templates here, It'll say, here's my test wedding proposal that I've created that includes an invoice, a contract, and then the payment option that I have put in. So after I have created that, let's just go to this inquiry here that I haven't replied to yet. But if these people decided that they wanted to book me as their wedding photographer, all I'd have to do is go to create a new and then here are the different smart file options. I'm gonna do create a proposal. And it'll have all of my templates pulled up here. So I can select test wedding proposal, which is the one we just barely created. And here is a proposal. And I can change things about it. I can change the package that is on here. I can change the payment schedule if I need to. Just because you add this template on here doesn't mean that you can't change anything. You can always customize within the project and it won't affect the original template. So the contract will still be there. Perfect. And then there's the payment. And then when I'm ready to share it, I can click share and it's not going to let me share because there's still th some things I need to do to this before I share it. But when I cl click share, I can then send it over to them in an email telling them that their booking information is ready and all they need to do is fill it out and send it back to me if they want to book their wedding with me. I hope that was helpful. I love utilizing smart files within HoneyBook. I have created so many questionnaires and proposals and different services brochures. There's just so many amazing things. I especially love this feature with the proposal where it has the invoice, payment plan, contract, everything is lumped into one and it is just so seamless and all of my clients have uh, complimented on how easy this system is to use and how easy these files are to navigate through, which is another plus. Again, if you're interested in signing up for HoneyBook, you can use the link down in the description to get a free trial and 20% off. And I have a freebie available for you guys. It's my full wedding workflow. So all the steps of my client experience that I give to my wedding clients, I have listed in this wedding workflow. It's a workflow that I've created in HoneyBook, it has multiple automations in it, multiple questionnaires, and just different template emails that I send to my clients. And if you're interested in seeing what exactly my wedding workflow looks like, you can download that freebie in the description down below. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you again next week for another YouTube episode. Bye guys.